So the data is being tracked a couple of ways. Um, the CDC recently just pushed out data looking at kids, well, focusing on 12 to 17 year olds um, that have been hospitalized for COVID and looked at their vaccination status. And they found out that the, and we can share the links. I know people always want to know, but you can also just Google this and try and find it out. They found out that most of the kids that are hospitalized with COVID are more likely to be unvaccinated. There's always the one case. There's always the one person that's vaccinated that ends up in the hospital, yes. But for the most part, vaccination, vaccination seems to be protective against severe in effects, including myocarditis. We've seen COVID march through the human body, even in young children that have no comorbidities. People have been asking a lot about prior history of this, maybe having asthma, for example, developmental delay, but even something as simple as obesity or no prior history of receiving any type of medical care for anything um, can still land a child with COVID in the hospital. And so based on that head to head, the risk of myocarditis and the risk of death from COVID is much higher with the actual infection as compared to the vaccine. And that's why providers continue to lean towards vaccinations across the board.